Hey everyone, how's it going? So I was thinking about it and realized that I have not done any videos on Ghostbusters, and I know Ghostbusters is extremely popular. So I thought it'd be fun to show you how to draw a Ghostbusters surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Ghostbusters surprise fold, we want to begin by folding our paper. The first thing is to take your paper and fold it in half like you're going to make a birthday card. Line up the corners and then give it a nice fold right down the middle. Next, you want to take this, fold it in half one more time. This gives it the look of a really big bookmark. Now you have two ways to open it. You can open it like this, or you can open it like this. And the nice thing is you have these three lines in here that serve as great little guidelines for when you draw the inside of your surprise fold. Now for this surprise fold, we're going to be making a ghost trap. So I want to begin by drawing the actual trap part for our ghost. So let's begin over here and we're going to start a little bit farther on this side and we're not going to draw all the way across. We're going to stop a little bit closer to the edge. So I'm going to start right here along the fold and I'm just going to draw a line that comes right to about here. Next right here, let's draw a line that comes down. And we'll do the same thing over here. Nice line that comes down. Now I want to connect these two lines. So let's just go ahead and draw a line across to connect them. Starting here, let's draw a line that's going to go over. We're going to come down and then back over for a little detail on our ghost trap. At the bottom here, let's draw a line that goes down, over, and then up for a little foot. Same thing here, down, over, and up. Next, I'm going to make a half circle here and a half circle right here for some buttons on the front. And right inside of here, I want to add another big rectangle. So we'll make a line that comes down on each side. Then a line that comes across the top, and a line that comes across the bottom. Inside of here, let's make a square shape. Then I'm going to put a big circle in the middle with a little curve right here, so it looks like there's a button. And in the corner of each circle, let's make a small black dot, so it looks like there might be some little screws in there. Right here, let's make a skinny rectangle, nice and long. And we'll do the same thing down here, long, skinny rectangle. Now for the handle. Usually the handle is going to be up top, but in this one we're going to make it come out to the side. So I'll draw a diagonal line right here, and then a little bit shorter diagonal line right here. Let's draw a line that's going to come out, and then another line that's going to come out right here, and then we'll connect it. Let's make a line that curves here. And then we'll make some little curved lines all the way across here. Now, right along the top, I want to make the top of our ghost trap. So let's begin by drawing a line that's going to come up. We're going to go over and down. Then I want to make a line that's just going to come right across the fold. I'm going to turn my paper a little bit so I can get a nice straight line. And I'm just going to draw this line right across the fold here. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky just because that fold has some bumps in it. Now the last thing I want to do is I'm going to draw some diagonal lines right across here. 
So let's just go ahead and add a few diagonal lines right across the top. Now our next step is to open up our surprise fold and add our ghost inside. When our ghost trap is all open, we have two parts of it. We have the top of the trap and then the bottom of the trap. And inside of here is where I want to add our ghost. And I'm going to make one of the most popular ghosts from Ghostbusters, and that is kind of like a cartoon version of Slimer. So let's go ahead and start a little bit above this little guideline right here. And we will begin by making the eyes. So I'll start right here, and I will make a circle for one eye. Then I'll leave some space, and I'll make another circle for an eye right over here. I'm going to make a smaller circle towards the top of each one. And then real quickly, I'll go ahead and just fill in this part of the eye. In the middle between the eyes, I'll make a small oval shape, but I'm not going to connect it all the way. I'll leave just a little bit open. And I'm also going to add two eyebrows right above each eye. I want to give Slimer a big smiley face for the mouth. So we'll make a line that's going to curve up. We'll go down and then up. And then we'll start to come back down. Next, I'm going to draw this line down and then up. Kind of looks like a big round banana. Let's make some teeth in here. We'll make some square teeth that go right across the top. So we'll put some square teeth right across here. And I'll put a couple right across the bottom too. We'll make these a little bit smaller. We'll make a line that's gonna come up and down and then up and down for the tongue. We'll add a curve line here, and another curve line right here. Right here, we'll make a line that's going to come down, and then one over here. We're just going to kind of come down and in. And then right here, we'll make a line that's going to go up. It's going to go over and come down. Right here, we'll make another line that's going to curve in, and then one more here, and we'll make one here, and one right here, and then we'll just kind of connect it. Now, I'm going to make his little arms. To do that, let's start over here. We'll draw a line that's going to go down and then up. We'll curve a line around here for a thumb. We'll draw a line that's going to curve around up here for another finger, and a little line down. We'll draw a line that's going to curve down and up with a little finger. And then one more little line that curves, and then we go in. We'll bring a line over, then we're just going to go over and then up for the arm. We'll do the same thing over here. We'll bring our line out and then up just a tiny bit. For that thumb, we'll go up and then bring it back. We'll go out, we'll curve this down, and then after we curve it down, just draw a little line down for one of the fingers. We'll make another line that curves down and up, and then a little line over, and then one more that's just going to curve up. We'll bring this line over and up, and that kind of finishes off the hand. Then we just add a little line back towards the body. Now I want to make it look like there is some slime in here because he is Slimer. 
So I'm gonna make a little bit of slime just coming off of his hands. So we're just gonna make some little wavy, squiggly lines coming down here. Then we'll make some more kind of wiggly, squiggly lines all over the place here. And this will just kind of help it look like there's a lot of slime and everything. Just make sure when you're adding this stuff, you're staying inside these lines. Now right up here at the top, I'm also going to add some wiggly, kind of squiggly lines all the way across to make it look like there might be some slime on the top of the ghost trap. And then right across the top here, I'm going to make some little wiggly lines to make it look like he's kind of popping out with lots of slime. And I'll put a couple more little pieces right around here too. Now underneath his mouth, I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to put one more under here. And there you go, there is your drawing of a Slimer Ghost Trap Surprise Fold. When you have it all folded up, you have your nice little ghost trap, and then when you open it, Slimer is popping out, getting ready to slime you. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.